You are looking at a very quiet ship full of Dole products at the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal. A second partial shutdown of the ports in San Diego and across the West Coast began today, and a complete shutdown is now looming. As 10 News reporter Michael Chen found out, a labor dispute is already leading to local layoffs and could lead to pain for consumers. We are inside a fabric manufacturer, and these shelves, which should be full, just one of the many local impacts of a potential port shutdown. Inside Island Boutique in Carlsbad, near these bolts of quilting fabrics, are empty boxes and shelves. Very frustrating. CEO Caleb Willis says his latest shipment of fabric from Indonesia has been sitting on a ship at the port of Long Beach for weeks, waiting to be offloaded. It probably won't happen soon. Amid a labor dispute between shippers and dock workers, yet another partial West Coast shutdown for the next five days. No loading onto or off ships like this one in San Diego. It follows a several-month work slowdown with shippers and dock workers blaming each other. So who's getting hurt? Local businesses like Island Boutique, low on inventory to ship out to retail outlets. Willis says other local businesses, from clothing to electronics, are in even more pain. I'm hearing of uh, everyone being down anywhere between, anywhere between 10 and 15 percent in revenue. I'm hearing of layoffs up to 20 percent of their work staff. If the labor impasse continues, consumers could also be hurt. A complete shutdown of the ports, which the shippers say could happen soon, could lead to shortages as some products, <laughs> from food and car parts to electronics, are shipped through the air. By air, it'll be probably anywhere between 20 and 30 times more expensive to bring that in. Now, I don't, I don't think that they'll be able to pass along all those cost increases, but they're going to pass along some of them or whatever they think that the market will bear. Michael Chen, 10 News. All right, here's why this matters. The port handles 3.3 million tons of cargo each year, everything from cars to bananas. That translates to more than $409 million each year for the San Diego economy.